How's everyone doing out there? Let's jump right into things. This is Up To Date Weekly. I am Jay Frasini, and this week in the news, my hometown state of Ohio might be ready to get high legally. Did you all go out to the polls and vote yes on issue three? If it passes, anyone over 21 will have the right to buy, grow, and use marijuana legally with endorsements from NBA player Oscar Robertson, AKA the Big O, and singer Nick Lachey, Ohio would be the fifth state to legalize marijuana. I guess it's only a matter of time before legalization sweeps the nation. But here in Cali, it's already on and cracking. There might be more medical marijuana shops than there are McDonald's. There seems to be one on every corner. And just about anyone at any age can get this license. Very easily, I might add. This piece of paper gets you into the shops and buying your pot legally. That's all it takes. Speaking of Cali, I recently met up with Head Crack. We know him from Dish Nation. He was at the Taste of Soul, which is one of Los Angeles' yearly community events. I was there selling my head wraps. He said he had to have some, scooped up several of them. So, big ups, Head Crack. Thanks again for your support. For everyone else that wants to buy some head wraps, check out my website, jforsini.com, and show me some love. Speaking of love, has religion reached its course? Well, According to a recent survey, this new generation of kids are now starting to uh, rethink what they've been taught. And the percentage of people attending services has declined. But without a doubt, religion is still a huge money maker for churches like Scientology, which is back in the news this week because of actress Leah Remini speaking out against them. I recently drove out to their studios, which is 90 miles east of Los Angeles, to shoot a short film. The studio was breathtaking, built on 500 acres and styled after a Scottish castle. They make movies there for the members of their church to watch. In between takes, I asked a lot of questions, but didn't get any answers. I'm not sure if they're gonna invite me back again as an actor. Now, to answer a question from my longtime friend, Anna, who lives in Hudson, Ohio. Hi, Anna. Anna wanted to know my opinion on Bernie Sanders. Well, I think he's a wonderful man. Born in 1941 in Brooklyn, he made history by being the longest serving member of Congress and now a candidate for president. But will he be able to fill the shoes of President Obama? I don't know. That's going to do it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Up To Date Weekly. I'm Audi. It's Jay Fasini, baby. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.